Hello friends, today we're looking at animating CSS Grid. Now this is something you can only do in Firefox, but it looks like the other browsers will implement it in the future. And in terms of layouts, it gives us the ability to do uh, sidebars and drop down menus, uh, various layout things and have an animation aspect to it as well. So I've got CodePen open here today and I'm just going to um, put together a basic sidebar content and header and then we'll look at how to animate that. I'll speed this bit up because this is just creating the grid itself. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a quick look at what we've created here. If we look at the HTML, we've just got a container class and inside that we've got three divs. We've got our header, which is appearing up here. We've got our sidebar, which is over here, and then some content, which is coming in the middle. Now to configure that, I've used grid template areas. So we've got our two headers to go all the way across the top and then a sidebar and content. And then we're just specifying the sizes here just to make sure that the content is uh, the most prominent part. Uh, we just set the height to 100 so that the grid fills our, our screen. And then on each of these, like content sidebar and header, we've just specified the grid area and the color for them. And then also just ensure that they're centered themselves. So if I get rid of each of these now, it should be fairly self-explanatory. Uh, and then even also the container itself. Let's just bring all of that down. And the div. Okay, so now what we can do now, in certainly in Firefox, which is what I'm running this uh, code pen in, is specify a keyframe animation and actually animate the grid template columns here um, to make it slide in and out. So let's have a look at, at doing that. Um, first of all, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a button on our sidebar that can activate this for us. So let's have a button on here and we'll say toggle and it'll just, so it's gonna toggle the sidebar in and out and we'll give it a, a function there to do this for us. Uh, toggle. Okay. And we'll get rid of that again. So what we're going to need to do now is come into JavaScript to enable this. So we're going to have our, um, our function toggle. And in here, we are going to say, are we um, is the sidebar or bar already expanded? So if we're expanded, we're going to do something like collapse it and otherwise we're going to expand it. Okay, so we're going to need a uh, expanded. So initially we are not expanded. And what we're going to do is grab the container because we're going to add, basically going to add this animation via adding and removing a couple of classes. So let's get a reference to our, our main container. Like so. And then what I'm going to want to do is here, if we're expanding, I want to, I want to collapse it. So I'm going to do um, container.classList.com. Um, so I want to remove what I'm going to have as an expanded class. And then I'm also going to add on um, a collapse class. Uh, so I'm using the two classes here because 
it'll allow the animation to be shown. You know, when we add the class, we can get an animation, but if I just took that expanded class off, it would jump back to its collapse position. Um, so that's why we're going to have two classes here. Um, so we want to do the opposite. If it's so if it's not expanded, we want to expand it. So I want to add expanded and remove collapsed. And then at the end here, let me just make this a bit bigger. We just want to flip our expanded variable there. Okay, now hopefully that's it for the JavaScript. So I'm just going to collapse that down. And then let's have a look now. We're going to need these, these two classes. So I need a class of expanded. And in here, we're going to run an animation. And we're going to call it animation expand. And we'll get it to last for uh, one second to start with. And we want it to save the final position once the animation is completed. OK, so. We define our keyframes for the animation. So we've called it expand here as our animation name. So we have a keyframes expand, and that's going to go from the initial position. So we, we want to start off with the column values that we've uh, initially defined. So what have we got? At the moment, the columns are one fraction for the sidebar and then 10 fractions for the content. So we need to start off at that position. So I'll do um, grid template columns and we'll just have the same as what we've already got. And then our end position, we want to have template columns and let's say it's going to come out halfway. So we could have um, Let's just say 5FR, 10FR. So we'll see what that looks like. It will certainly come out um, quite a bit more than it is. OK, so that um, should allow it to come out. So you know, when we click on this button toggle, it will come into our JavaScript and we'll end up um, expanded is false, so we'll come in here and we'll add the expanded class to our container. Now, the expanded class has this animation, and that animation changes the grid template columns. Uh, and because that CSS is after this CSS, it will override this value here. All right, let's do. Let me get rid of this again now so we can see things a bit better again. And what I'm going to do is basically copy all of that and place it in here for a collapse. So we've got a collapse class that we'll call a collapse animation. And the, this animation will start from our expanded, which is 5, 10 and go back to our original, which is 110. And that should look good. So let me just collapse those down. And we're ready to give it a go, I think. So if I click on toggle, I don't get anything. Yeah. Animation name. Okay, expanded and collapse, animation name. Okay, let's give that another go. Okay, and you can see that it slides out nicely there. And when we click it again, it slides back. So if we try this in other browsers, it would just flip to there. But in Firefox, we're getting that animation. So lots of good uh, possibilities there um, for CSS Grid. Well, I hope that was useful. If you enjoyed that, then click on that subscribe button below. Uh, and see you next time. Thanks. Bye.